Hello, good morning and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, but I'm back, so worry not. You're here and I'm sticking with it. So today uh, I have two videos ready for you guys. So get ready for two videos upload today. Crazy stuff I know, but uh, well, well, trying to hold me. So today a short video just to show off my newish camera. Um, new in a way that it's new to me it's not new because it's a film camera as you might expect so this is the minolta srt 101b and it has an slc thingy there i, I knew what this means i think it's related to the uh light meter inside so cheap buy on the street fair 20 euros you know me i'm cheap i don't like to spend more money than I would like and I, that I think the item is worth. So let's let me just walk you through the features and then I'll talk a little bit about my experience with it. Uh, some images will pop in the screen of a couple of rolls I shot with it. So it's it's working perfectly. Well, not perfectly, but I'll talk about it in a second. Okay. So this is the Minolta OSRT 101B. So in my case, it rocks the Minolta Rockor 50 millimeter 1.7. So I don't think it's the kind of the greatest and the best or the fastest 50 millimeter for this camera, but um, it's it was bundled with my buy, so no complaints really. Works fine. It's a 1.7 to f/16 lens, so once again, no complaints, not at all. It's a, as you can see, uh, SLR camera. So in the back, you can see it has the AI say to Jean stuff and where the place we can put the film ID cardboard box thingy figure magic. Okay. Other than that, it's a pretty standard as SLR camera. You have your lens release, your depth of field preview, your timer. So let me just release the lens. I've released the camera. So you have here the film release, the lens release, the depth of field preview button, the timer, and you have your lens. So mine could be in better shape, but it's in very usable condition. Um, I do not complain too much about the lens conditions. It's a 1.7. It has some fungal activity, but uh, it's, it's sal sal salvageable. I can work with it. It's not noticeable in the pictures, not at all, really. W wide open F16, it looks fine. Uh, let's not be too, too aggressive with our prerequisites, shall we? So it's a pretty standard uh, um, SLR. It's nicely built, as all Minotlas are, I believe. So you have here your film advance, you have your shutter button, and you have your selection of speeds. You have from everything from 1000 all the way back to bulb, so bulb. To one thousand of a second, which is pretty standard to you have your ISA selector. You can go from ISA six to ISA sixty-four thousand. Sorry, sixty-four hundred thousand. Uh, so six four zero zero. I don't know. Um, and you have your rewind lever and your pop-up for the back. And you have here your flash connector and your film picture count there. Okay, so lights, lights does not help. Okay, cool. Other than that, it's, I like it, I love it. Um, mine uh, needs, it works, okay? It works fine, but uh, if you can listen. Now it's a little bit stuck, sticky. Let me put this on a 1,000th of a second. See, it sticks. The mirror sticks, uh, I can release it if I jiggle a little bit. So it's a little bit worse than it was before because it has worked way better and without so much noise. I have managed to put through a couple of rolls. It needs a little bit of love and care. I know it will get it. Don't worry. I love it. Um, it works fine. The mirror locks up then I advent and locks down so probably it needs some TLC some now it worked fine 
Sometimes it gets sticky, sometimes it doesn't. Let's see here. It's inverted, so maybe not, not helping that much. So it, uh, yeah, now it worked fine. So it needs a little bit of care. It works fine, really. The meter, it has a meter. I have here a knob that can turn the meter on, off, and do the battery check. My meter works fine. So it needs a little bit of love and, and care. I will give it. Don't worry too much about it. She will get the attention she, she deserves. I'm going to put the lens back on. And I have put there a battery. I just don't remember which battery I did. One second. So I'm using... You just can see it. Uh, um, a cell. Jesus. It's a 625. I don't know how much voltage that it is. It's a 625 A type, I believe. I don't know where I got this from. I have a bunch of button cells are lying around, so I just found some that works. It's fine. It it works fine, you can check on the internet the exact little model, model number of the battery, but it, the battery, this one works fine. So I'll probably just Google and find a replacement. Some people are scared to use more modern batteries. I'm not that scared. I use modern batteries with the approximate values of voltage and I adjust my exposure if needed and I, it's been fine. Just for comparison, here you have the my favorite one, the OM1. This is my go-to camera. And this is the Minolta. So as you can see, the OM still beats in terms of size. They have practically the same features. So um, it's one to one. They do pretty much the same thing. Um, really, really the same thing. But the OM still it's still lighter, smaller, and does the same thing. The only advantage the Minolta has it has the hot shoe, and the OM has that weird thing of the pluggable and unpluggable hot shoes stuff for the flesh that I hate. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video and I see you next one.